Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Centre for Mathematical Sciences. Welcome to Thinking Mathematically. Um, I just, this is hardly going to be a talk. It's going to be an invitation to you to come and work like mathematicians for an hour. Hence the paper and pencils um, on your benches. So when we think about poets, we think about um, people playing with words, playing with images and metaphors. When we think about musicians, we think about people playing with notes and chords, with rhythm and tempo. When we think of artists, we think of people playing with colour and texture and form. In that spirit, I'd like, you to, I'd like to invite you today to play with numbers. And in particular, I want to think about numbers that can be expressed as the sum of consecutive numbers. So let me give you a few examples. Um, perhaps somebody could give me a number to start with. Something, I don't know, between 10 and, 10 and 40. 31. OK, so 31 is a really interesting number because it can be written as the sum of two consecutive numbers. It's 15 plus 16. You also had your hand up there. Can you give me another number? Somewhere between 10 and 40 is 30? 13. OK. 13 is also an interesting number. It can also be written as a sum of two consecutive numbers. It's 6 plus 7. Can I have a couple more numbers? Yes. 28. 28 or 38? 38. 38? 38 is really interesting <laughs> because it can be written as a sum of four consecutive numbers. Yes? Two. Two is a really interesting number. <laughs> I can write it as a sum of consecutive numbers. Fifteen. Incredibly interesting. It can be written as a sum of two consecutive numbers. But it can also be written as a sum of three consecutive numbers. It's four plus five plus six. And it can also be written as a sum of five consecutive numbers. It's one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So you've managed to give me lots of really interesting numbers. OK, you've got your one last interesting number. 27. 27 is really interesting. It can be written as some of two consecutive numbers. But it can also be written as the sum of three consecutive numbers. But it can also be written as some of six consecutive numbers. Um, am I going to be able to do this? <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to give you five or ten minutes to...
and see whether you can write them as a sum of consecutive numbers. And what I'm hoping you'll do is as you go choosing your numbers and writing them as some consecutive numbers, you'll start noticing some general... You might notice some similarities between numbers that can be written as three consecutive numbers or four consecutive numbers. So be on the lookout, because when we come back together, I'm going to ask you, perhaps, to share some of the general patterns that perhaps you've noticed. I'm hoping you all have paper and pencil. I've got a very helpful assistant there at the back. If you have a missing paper or pencil, just wave your hands, and he'll come around and provide what you need. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy.